Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to BAM Tonight. I'm your host, Michaela Rios, sit here with our girls' varsity soccer team. Now, ladies, can you tell me your names and positions on the team? I'm Polina Kukar, and I'm a center defender. I'm Angela Mano, and I'm a forward and midfielder. I'm Ileana Sanchez, I'm a forward and midfielder. I'm the Net Martinez, and I'm a defender. Uh, what grade are you guys all in? I'm a senior. I'm a junior. I'm a freshman. I'm a sophomore. Cool. Um, are there any captains on this team? Me and Pauline. <laughs> um, okay, so how do you treat your role as captain, both of you? So I'll, I guess I'll start. Um, as a captain, you have to find the balance between disciplining and also being an older sister and a friend mm -hmm. to many of your teammates. And it's definitely a very important position. I enjoyed it a lot this year. I feel like as a captain on the team, especially because I'm a junior, I feel like I really have to push the girls to make sure that like they're the best that they could be no matter what's going on at home or with their friends. And I just feel like you have to be a role model to make sure that you show up to practice and you show up to a game ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you guys feel about your captains? Do you think they work well? Um, our captains are really good. They always like make sure we're doing what we need to do, but also they're like our best friends. They're like our sisters. Yeah, they do. And I feel like they show such a great role as what we're supposed to do on the field and even off the field on how we're supposed to respect people on and off the field. They do like make a really great role model. That's great. Um, now, speaking about how you guys interact with each other, um, with each other, excuse me, um, how's team bonding like? Team bonding is great. <laughs> Our team bonding is really funny, actually. We always uh, come to practice like five minutes earlier. Everyone's just fooling around, making videos, or having fun. And this year, I feel like we really connected a lot. Our chemistry was really good, and it helped us play really good. Yeah, during preseason, we'd drive up to Sonic, yeah. get food, or like even just hang out, watch a movie at each other's homes. And I think it really built up the spirit on our team. Now, um, could you tell us about your biggest rivals? Um, oh. within the <laughs> <laughs> like Carney? Yeah, yeah, Carney. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your rivalry with Carney? I, I can start. Yeah. Yeah, go so so I've, I'm a senior, so I've been playing for four years. And every year, it's the same rival, Carney. Uh, we usually get very neck and neck with them, or it's a big blowout, one or the other. And this year, I think we did pretty well. We lost a lot of like forwards and things yeah. like that but we took it on really well it was our first game of the season uh, definitely a challenge though yeah I feel like our history with Carney ever since I was a freshman like I was on varsity and we always just had it you could even feel it in there like everyone was just so mad and wanted to go after each other at that game and those were like the best games that we ever played do you think your rivalry somehow impacted the way you play soccer now, or no? Yeah, a hundred percent. It definitely did because you know when you play games like that, you get some type of adrenaline where you're like, you know what, I want to do this, I want to win, I'm going to play my heart out, mm -hmm. and it really impacts your whole season. And going back to your previous question too, like how it affects you mentally and things like that, mm -hmm. um, I'd say that strong games like that really build you up, especially if it's your first game of the season. So you're both mentally and physically prepared for any of the, I guess, easier teams ahead. Um, so how long have all of you been playing soccer? Uh, I've been playing since I was about three. I've been playing since I was like six, eight. Started playing since like I was four because of my brother. <laughs> I started playing since like around four, I would say. Um, like what you said, do you have any particular reasons why you started playing soccer? I started playing because like it brought me happiness. It was like my escape from problems and all that. And I just love the sport. I immediately fell in love with it. Yeah, I found I like I found soccer as an outlet where I could like express my emotions. Like let's say I was angry that day, I would I was able to express it on the field and play really well, <laughs> or you know like shove people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like I started playing soccer because my dad forced me into it at first and then uh, I started to find a new love for it and I was really happy with what I was doing. And I'd say for me, I started because I was like a wild kid and my parents didn't really know where to drain my energy so they put me in soccer and I guess that's where it began. Do you 
find enjoyment now after you after you said your dad like forced you to play? Do you do you enjoy it now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not even gonna lie. There are some days where you know you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. This is so hard. School stress, friends. But you always find, like, deep down, you're like, this is the sport I love, and I want to do it every day. How do you all handle that, by the way? Like, all the stress of, like, you know, um, your friends and education and stuff like that. I guess you really have to be a disciplined person. You have to know and, like, take responsibility for your assignments. Especially, I know a lot of kids in the honors program who play soccer as well. Mm -hmm. And you get a load of homework. So you really have to schedule it well. I'm kind of just like determined responsibility mm -hmm. and you know sometimes I do lack off a little bit but that's every other kid <laughs> to be honest but you know you got to just be determined. Um, do, you want, do any other, um, excuse me I'm sorry, do you guys play for any other teams? Uh, I believe all of Me and Angela yeah. play yeah. for Cedar Stars. Yeah we both play for Cedar Stars. Uh, I play in Monmouth and she plays in Bergen. Bergen. And we also, like, Angela and I played for oh, Lightning USA for a little bit. Lightning. Yeah, but I had a knee injury, so that was done. <laughs> yeah. I play I play for Kearney United right now. Wow. But I used Aww. to play for the wow. I know, we were just talking <laughs> about rivalries. That, so you play for the rival team? Yeah, the travel team. The travel team. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we heard recently you guys got a new coach. Um, how are you planning on transitioning your relationship with like your former former coach to um, this new one? How are you plan on training with them? Um, you know, I had Coach Lisa as a that was our old coach mm -hmm. since I was a freshman, and I believe when our new coach came in, he sat us all down and was just like, "We're determined to win this year," mm -hmm. and it really was inspiring. I'm ready to just have a good senior season and make sure all my teammates are set in for the next season. And I know many of us as well, like when I played travel as a younger kid, mm -hmm. uh, I had Coach Victor, who's, who's a new coach, and he was a good guy, like he was very disciplined. So I think that that would definitely be a benefit for our team. Um, yeah. yeah, I see positive things coming. Um, how do you think your preseason is going to affect um, how you play in your upcoming season? Preseason is like the most important. You build your bond, which yeah. builds the chemistry on the field. Definitely. And not just even chemistry on the field, chemistry off the field, too. Um, and then with both chemistries, it creates a really, really good team for that season. I feel like we're also doing prime this season for preseason, so everyone's just turning into monsters on the <laughs> field. I'm not going to lie. Everyone's going crazy, and everyone's working out. Um, have you guys made any, like, speaking of, like, the bonding you guys are talking about, have you made any, like, really strong connections to, like, anyone in particular on the team? Or is it just, like, all one unified, like? I could say it's just everybody's very unified. Like, to, yeah. especially till this day, we'll, like, still text the group yeah. chat and stuff. And we'll, we'll, like, see, like, ooh, who can hang out this day? Who can hang out this day? I think we're very all well tied together. Yeah, I'd say especially this year, the bonding was a lot stronger, like, in comparison to all my years playing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm not really the best with sports and stuff. I mean, like, I played <laughs> soccer when I was 10. Um, so could you explain what prime is and why it's so important for offseason? So prime is something in Bayonne that is new. It's uh, by Coach Mark, and he is, like, an athletic trainer. So you go to weight room, you do agility, running, and you just get stronger, and it makes you into a better athlete mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. And so it'll make you stronger, faster, and just you'll have a great worth at ethic. Um, have any of you committed to playing soccer? I have. Really? <laughs> um, so can you tell us a little bit, like, about the recruiting process and stuff? Where do you plan on going? Yeah, of course. Uh, I actually committed to Wingate University in North Carolina on a full scholarship for oh. soccer. And uh, the recruiting process is not that difficult, but you just have to be able to have the confidence and the mostly the ability to just put yourself out there mm -hmm. and to send emails to different college coaches explaining your personality and also how you plan on your future and why you want to go there. Mm -hmm. And it was just a really kind of step forward in my mental 
like how I love soccer and it just made me feel better about it having feedback from college coaches and everything mm -hmm. um, what do you think is was the hardest part with the, during the commitment process I think the hardest part of the commitment process was definitely going out and playing when you know someone there from like a huge college is watching you mm -hmm. making sure you're still in your game not everything might go your way staying positive mm -hmm. that was really the hardest part how do you feel um, being committed as a junior? You think, you know, a senior, they already kind of, they're already there. They, it would be yeah. understandable. How as a junior do you feel being committed? As a junior, I really feel just relaxed now. But I really <laughs> want to just push forward on just getting better and better because there are other kids out there that are just still trying to commit. So they're just trying to get better than you. Yeah. And you got to be better than them. I think it's kind of funny how you, of like everyone else, you were you said that you were like forced into playing the sport, yeah. and now you're committed to playing yeah. the sport. Well, it pushed me really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? What coaches have impacted your soccer career? For you know, you're com being committed, so yeah. Uh, I believe Coach Lisa really did help me a lot. She contacted a few coaches for me and really got me the experience that I needed before I went off to go to other places and look at things. But uh, a lot of my academy coaches helped, but especially Coach Lisa. So, um, Paulina, um, so it's been established that you've placed 10 in Woo. 10th in class. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, so how has it been managing soccer and your schoolwork for the last four years? I guess, again, I'd say discipline. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm like, at the desk 24-7 studying yeah. uh, because I barely made the cut honestly I'm <laughs> at 10 but uh, my parents really instilled like a work ethic in me they're immigrants so I kind of felt a lot of pressure and I knew that you know money doesn't just fly out of your pocket so yeah. college has got to get paid for I worked really hard uh, took advice from a lot of older students and I guess just really managed my time that's actually kind of cool um, I, I think that's kind of inspirational because I have immigrant parents too, so that, that's nice to hear. You have any like any, anything else you think is kind of like advice for people like you and me who kind of have that same situation? I'd say you know like take it easy, take it easy on yourself, know yourself, know your strengths. Um, don't take 50 AP classes because you think it's going to look good on a, on a transcript. I kind of just align my interests with my classes, and it got me here, so. I'm grateful. That's really cool. Um, so what would you say were um, the obstacles that you faced while playing soccer? While playing soccer, I'd say definitely the mental aspect because um, one of the reasons why I wasn't particularly interested in playing for college when I started was because I knew myself and I knew that I wasn't too strong mentally. So I guess just relying on support from a lot of my teammates and pushing through also a couple of injuries but that's pretty much it so you said um, injuries and stuff I know you got injured at the very beginning of the season can you tell us a little bit about that um, I did and I know Ileana did as well oh, really? but I know she tore her ACL right yeah. and it was just my patellar tendon mm. um, <laughs> did that affect anything like for the both of you did it affect like yeah, it affected like my whole season and even out the season. Mm -hmm. I had to get surgery. I was out for a while and all that. So like affected me like a lot mentally. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, do you think that affected like how you played with your teammates? Like just because it was so over like overwhelming for you mentally or do you think you're fine? Um, it w w when it happened, it was against a rival game. So like I was coming in like strong, but like of course stuff like that always what happens. It's like you would never predict it. Um, how did your injury um, affect how you feel now about this upcoming season? Um, I just want to go back in. I want to show what I <laughs> couldn't show last season, and I want to like really show who I am now. Um, so, okay, uh, for Nanette, uh, what's the hardest part about being uh, one of the most important defenders on the team? Does it add pressure to you, and does it affect how you play? I think everybody like everybody on the field has an important role to play and everybody has pressure on them especially when when yeah when when we're going against a big team we're all you know very nervous inside for me personally i can't control like how nervous i get 
So it's like, and then I feel like I'm a chicken without his head. So <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place. But sometimes I just, you know, have to learn how to control and keep cool and stay focused on the game and nothing else. Like my head can't go anywhere else but the game. Uh, can you tell me a little bit, like, um, what was your, f for all of you, what was your f most favorite memory from, um, oh, of the season and why? <laughs> it's pose driving. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, sucks. I'm notoriously, like, a curb hitter, yeah. so and that's, like, a hitter too. <laughs> okay. I do not hit people, <laughs> but, yeah, I guess. Ask people. <laughs> the drives are really fun. Um, do you have any? Yeah, I think, uh. Before the game on the bus, having the speaker out and just singing and dancing yeah. on the bus is one of the best memories that I'll have since the season. Uh, those were really fun. Yeah, and definitely getting yelled at by Coach Lisa. <laughs> <Sit> <laughs> <down>. <laughs> Coach M, like, sit down, sit down. Those were definitely fun. That's cool. Um, anything else? Like, any last, any last words you want to mention? Or? Uh, I'd say... Show up to the games, guys. The girls are yeah. really good, very strong, and show some support to our girls' teams. Yeah. Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for joining me. I wish you luck on your off season and your regular season. Um, I'm happy you're back in the game, thank and you. I'm looking forward to see like how you grow as a person, being committed to you know soccer. And everyone, congratulations again for being number ten. Thank you. Um, Thank you for coming on, and thank all of you for watching Bayonne tonight. Good night, Bayonne!